Um, so again, the first thing, ladies and gentlemen, is we want to do is set this up using long division. <clears throat> so I have x plus 3 divides into x to the fourth. I do not have, oh, my vote is now, my voice is getting scratchy. I do not have an x cubed, right? So I am going to use a spacer of x cubed. Then I have um, minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. Is everybody OK with at least setting up the problem that far? Yeah. 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 OK. OK, so the first thing, again, just like I did over here, I'm leaving that up there so you guys have somewhere to come off. Same thing. We take the first term and we divide into it, and again, if you don't, can't figure this out, guys, put this to the side. x, how many times does x divide, in, divide into x to the fourth? x divides into x to the fourth. Remember the rules of exponents. When you have exponents, you subtract the powers. x to the four minus one is equal to x to the third. So therefore, you write x to the third up here. Now, just like I did over there, whatever your answer is, you have to multiply by both of the terms. So I do x cubed times x, which is x to the fourth. x cubed times 3 is going to be a 3x cubed. Is everybody OK with that step? Now we subtract the rows. x to the fourth minus x to the fourth is just going to be 0x to the fourth. And as I mentioned, if as long as you did it correctly, you should always have 0 in this first portion. Then 0x cubed minus 3x cubed. So if you have 0 and you subtract 3 from it, you are now going to have negative. Since we're talking about x cubed, then it's going to be a negative 3x cubed. And again, guys, if you're having trouble with this, write it out to the side. Right? As long as the terms are x cubes, then you just add or subtract the coefficients. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. So now we do the same process all over again. x divides into negative 3x cubed. So I just write it up again. How many times does x divide into negative 3x cubed? Negative 3x squared. Then I take negative 3x squared and I multiply it. Oops, I didn't show you guys this. Then I multiply negative 3x squared times both of my divisors. Yes, questions? And did I lose anybody yet? Oh, we're still all on board. Yes. So now I just multiply it by both of the terms again. So negative 3x squared times x is just going to give us negative 3x cubed. Negative 3x squared times 3 is now going to give us a negative 9x squared. Well, if I'm subtracting my rows, I don't have anything to subtract the negative 9x for. So I bring this term down. You could bring down all the terms if you want to. But you just really don't have to. So now I subtract negative 3x minus a negative 3x. Minus a negative is the same thing as adding. So negative 3x cubed minus a negative 3x cubed is like adding 3x cubed, which will then just give you 0x cubed. Negative 2x squared minus a negative 9x squared. Again, if you're having trouble, write it to the side. OK, what's minus a negative? It's the same thing as a double negative. So what's negative? Same thing as adding. So what's negative 2x squared plus 9x squared? Please, yes, 7x squared. If you guys could please just continue paying attention for this, and then we'll uh, address other things later. So that becomes a positive 7x squared. So now we do the same process all over again. 
x goes into 7x squared how many times? Okay, again, write it to the side. How many times does x divide into 7x squared? Well, guys, there's a 1 in front of this x. You can only divide numbers with numbers and variables with variables. So how many times does 1 divide into 7? 7. And then how many times does x divide into x squared? x times, right? x to the first power. Right. So the answer is just 7x. So you put the answer up here. 7x. Now you multiply 7x times x and 7x times 3. 7x times x is 7x squared, which you should get the same thing again. Then 7x times 3 is 21x. Now I bring down the 8x. Then, oops, that's a squared. Then we do the same thing over again. We subtract. 7x squared minus 7x squared is 0x squared. 8 minus 21. 8x minus 21x is negative 13x. OK, now we do the same thing again. How many times does x divide into a negative 13x? Negative 13 times. Negative 13 times x is a negative 13x. Negative 13 times 3 is going to be a negative 39. Subtract. Negative 13x minus a negative 13x is going to be 0x, which is the same thing. Do you guys see how that happens? See how that happened every single time? You're always going to get the same number back for that first term. Then, um, oh, we need to bring down the 5. So 5 minus negative 39 is? 44. If you have $5 and you owe me, you have $5. Oh, wait, you borrow. So it's going to be minus a negative. So it's going to be adding, right? So that's going to be 40, 44. OK, does x divide into 44? No. no. So guess what? That is now your remainder. So to write our answer, it would look like this. x squared minus 3, I'm sorry, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 13 plus 44 over x plus 3. See, wasn't that fun? No, wasn't fun. <laughs>